Welcome back, everyone, to Total Not Stop Impact Impact Talk for Impact fans right here on the YouTube and the Twitch and wherever you get your podcast audio worldwide. To my left, you're right. The Queen Over here. Queen and I, Alicia. Uh, that's overkill, but thanks. Hi, how are you? Good to see everybody. Well, if someone... Someone earlier in the live reaction called me the king of TNI, and I was like, ah, well, you know. Humble, so I humble. I, would just, I, would, I, I figured I'd pay it forward. Yeah, thanks. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> we try. We try. All right, I'd, so I'd rather be like the everyone. rogue of TNI or like the the, the bard of I don't know. The, Royalty's the not really my thing. The <laughs> bard. You lost me on that one. D and D, man. I guess you're not cool. Ah, no, I've I've never been that cool. Mm. Sucks to suck. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. We're just, just kicking things off crazy here tonight. All right. Wild and crazy, are... guys. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, that one. That's I, even I before my era. Before, yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's a, before, it's a little before me, too, but I've seen those skits. I've seen them. <laughs> Can't beat the old Steve, uh, Steve, Steve Martin, Steve Martin. Yeah. Van Aykroyd. Rayline mm -hmm. with the cheer and the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much love. Much love. Thank yes. you. Super chats and super stickers always are open, but if you do anything tonight, we ask that you smash that like button. You smash that sub button, ring that bell. For notifications alicia i tell you what uh you know i really don't have any news i mean if anyone in the chat has like any news from stuff earlier today hey pass it along the only thing i heard from <laughs> stuff earlier going on today as far as it was like the, the wrestlecon events mm -hmm. gcw events the collective whatever you want to call it is that Shayna Baszler beat um, Masha Masha Slamovich? Thank you. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. I know Bailey had a uh, Mike Bailey had a match against Nick Nemeth, and there was a bunch of other stuff going on. Uh, Keith, that's not news. <laughs> no offense, brother. <laughs> That's just a whole lot of speculation. <laughs> like, I could sit here and tell you that Motor City Machine Guns might be going to NWA. Hey, why not? They're going to the moon, brother. They're going to the moon. Oh, they've been around long enough. Why not? First wrestling match on the moon. Why not? Be pretty um, sick. Shayna had Jordan, Jordan Grace in her. Wait. Shayna Baszler had Jordan Grace in her corner. Oh, why wouldn't huh. why wouldn't Masha have Jordan Grace in her corner? That is interesting. Well, because Jordan Grace and Masha are like sworn enemies. Well, yeah, it's the lore. <laughs> Well, Justin is now saying that Masha had Jordan. All right. Well, I'll let you guys. Well, we don't know. We didn't see it. <laughs> we'll what? take your words for it, guys. Zoe Stark, Mayor. All right. Well, now we got about 10 different names in one match. Were they all no, whose no. corner? <laughs> I think they were all in the ring at the same time, honestly. Yeah. This probably turned into like. Fisticuffs. You know, yeah. Yeah. And whoever got knocked out first wins, right? That's quite the battle. <laughs> or or out of the ring area, seeing as there's no ring ropes. I don't know. But you guys, sure, you guys figure sure. it out. All right. 
Well, beyond that, there really isn't much news. Yeah, it's Mania Week, but we're not going to talk anything about Mania itself. You can catch that over on my other podcasts. Uh, New Cheap Pop. Always the Cheap Pop. Um, the good old Ramblers. Oh, here we go. And then I'll be doing night two of Mania uh, by myself or maybe with someone else over on Smash This Podcast. So watch out for that if you want uh, anything Mania related. Oh, okay. Mr. Rosario, thank you. Her PW Insider, WWE and TNA have continued to communicate about ideas for the future. Well, that's interesting. TNA executives are headed to Philadelphia where WrestleMania XL will be held. It's unknown if the execs... Wait. It's unknown if the execs anything... W. Okay, there's something missing. Related. Yeah. If, if it'll be anything WWE related. Okay, yeah. Yeah, or maybe I mean, just, not for nothing, but it, what a weekend to check everything out, right? Yeah, you know, it's everybody put everybody especially, under one roof, you know. Especially with the the new guy running the show, it, it's kind of important for him to check out that that whole situation going on over the. I don't know how many days is it? How long has it been going on? Was today the first day of shows for WrestleCon and WrestleMania weekend and all the indie shows? Uh, today or yesterday? Well, yeah. Well, either way, there there's a lot of talent to be scouted and, and yeah. things to be seen over this weekend. So it's good for him to get his feet wet. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely a good way to... You know, smooth around and get your get your name and everybody who's anybody is is like in Philly right now. So, right, it's Justin Miller. He dropped this in the uh, live reaction. Thank you for putting this in here again. It says uh, plus TNA will be in Chicago in June for against all odds, and Slam will be somewhere in Canada in July. So keep heads keep your heads up for that. Um, I will definitely keep my keep my eyes on Chicago for that because uh, would love to go back to Chicago in June for against all odds and any tapings related around there. That'd be awesome. All right, thank you, Justin. Well, if that's about it, and might as well jump right into the episode. We'll knock this out in like a half an hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know uh, you like a long news segment, J Bone. But I think for tonight, we can we can storm right in. Oh, I just I just like covering a lot of different things. But this is the first week in a long time I really don't have hardly anything. So. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, I, it's I, such. I really think it's because other than the the hubbubs going on in the other companies, like it's such a busy weekend for people that there really isn't any news other than what's being made in the next couple of days until I think Sunday or Monday is pretty much when it all wraps up. Yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah, everyone's gonna be Everybody doing spontaneous stuff over the next four days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because SmackDown will be the start of actually the Mania stuff because they've got Mania card stuff on SmackDown. Hall of Fame is after SmackDown, and then it just it's gonna snowball from there till the night after Mania, Monday Night Raw. So oh uh uh Samuel, Samuel, yeah. We 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 covered that last week with Top Dollar doing the TNA deal. But thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. So. All right. On that note. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we are, man, I can't believe it's April. That's This year is just chugging along, let me tell you. We are covering the April 4th, 2024 episode of TNA this evening. Starting out hot with, uh, a rhino versus 
Uh, Mustafa Ali. We got old school rules, but no title on the line. Mm -hmm. Just just bragging rights so that Rhino <laughs> can get some some. Oh, I almost said spears. How about some gores? He, he some wanted to gore, get some yeah, gores get that right. There. Yeah, oof. Or Rhino. <laughs> uh, <laughs> War Machine Rhino. Uh, so, what do you think of this uh, match starting out? I. Uh... I think Rhino really gave Mr. Ali a run for his money. Uh, I mean, if you're really going to test your, your feats as a champion, who better to get in the ring with than Rhino? <laughs> Sorry for no fancier way to put it, but wow. And he, he was getting yoked up, but he had a little help. So I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this. This was, uh, you know, two two very different styles. You've got someone who is <laughs> on top of the X division right now, and then you've got a, uh, uh, you know, you got, you got hardcore Philly icon of of the ECW. Lord, ECW anyway. alum. Yes, yeah, alum. Yes. Um. So yeah. Uh, this this was a lot of fun. It was going to be interesting to see how uh, Ali could um, you know, outsmart or outrun Rhino, however you want to put it. Uh, the crowd firmly behind uh, Rhino, though. Yeah. Well, because he's a favorite, and he's in Philly. They're at the ECW arena. Well, yeah. The twenty, the twenty three hundred. Excuse me. It's it's uh it's it's hard. My not. favorite arena. I was so jealous. I didn't get to go. You didn't. Oh. No, we it was we I found out about it too late and um we just couldn't make it work. Oh uh, here, uh Dr. Gerbs, yes, thank you for the reminder. That coast to coast was wicked. There, facts, there facts. are there, there are not many people that either attempt to or can do it well and i think this is a first that i've seen uh ali do this and let me tell you he pulled it off he pulled it off as good as anyone else i ever seen like either rvd or shano yeah or those. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a very short list shano Mack, really <laughs> <laughs> well i just you know yeah i know i i i know the lore it's my word when, of the night you, is lore, guys. When you think of iconic people doing that move, it's not something you see every day. So I because I, I tell you what, that it is it's seen so few and far in between. I can't remember the last time I saw it. Tis been a while since I can yeah. recall. <laughs> Maybe uh was it the uh, Johnny, Johnny Swinger? Did he? No, he didn't do that. Anyways. Uh, anyway. Yeah. But yeah, Ali gets the win here. And then uh, Jake something comes down, throws Ali back in, and uh, tries to give him what for. And um, so, because we're, we're going to see Jake something uh, versus. Ali at uh, Rebellion, right? Mm -hmm. X Division title on the line there. He is. Oh, Ash in the chat. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, let's see what else. We'll get there, guys. <laughs> I want to talk about the Gresham. A <laughs> couple of oh, people can talk about the Gresham segment. And, and that that went by so fast. I I was confused by it, but. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, uh, now this, now this was interesting. Uh, I mm -hmm. want to get your thoughts on this. Okay, uh, Alicia. We, Shoot. We went as as soon as this segment was done. Mean Gia Miller was on the ramp <laughs> for a live interview. They don't do this very often. I yeah, very old it school. Very, it was refreshing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like every other place does this where someone comes out to the, and I'm not saying they're copying someone else. It's just nice to see. Well, especially too. 
we're probably going to say the same thing, but when you're at the live shows, you don't get to see those backstage segments because they're being filmed in, in tandem with the show that you're watching out at the ring. So they're just being taped. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas, uh, yeah, during the WWE or AEW. Had a very live feel. It, it, yeah, it, it, it did feel, it, it was very refreshing. I, I I don't know what else to call it. That's that's the, the best way I can call it. But um, I, I, I liked it a lot. Sound off in the chat if you dug this or if you even noticed it. Because <laughs> if you weren't really paying attention, the whole segment just kind of flowed into the next. It was it was like, whoa, wait a minute. Nice. So uh, Jim Miller calls out. I shouldn't say calls out, but she is. Brings she, out. She, yeah, she's uh, talking to Hammerstone next here. And uh, Hammerstone, of course, is talking about uh, his rivalry with Josh Alexander. Like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, if you really want to meet one more time, we can. That's fine. And then he gets really weird and uh, starts looking like he's, you know, giving threatening uh, moves to the cameraman. And then puts them up in uh, <laughs> like the, the 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 what's that called the Lex Plex? No, that's uh, he just the, the torture stretching. rack. The torture rack. Thank you. He just started stretching the hell he out. Put hands and on that man for some reason. Poor, well, you don't yeah, like being on it. TV. You don't like being filmed, bro. Yeah. Something. I, uh, I kept thinking, I was like, oh, wow, did he injure his arm or something? But it was Josh's headband. <laughs> I forgot that he took it. Uh, he's, he's wearing it like a trophy, and then he's, he's stuck it on the... He put it on the it guy on the and camera, started man, like, like, oh, like, like no, choking him out. Josh. Now you're Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not Josh. That's good. Oh, I think Hammerstone is going to turn out being a very, very good choice in adding to the roster. Very interesting. Oh. I don't know what to make of him, and not in a negative way. It's just I'm, I, and it makes me curious. Like, oh, what are they? What's going on here? What's you know? What's up? He's the the super super villain. Yeah, yeah. I I love like I nasty I'm boy. I know some people don't like Lex Luger because of the controversial past, but I've always been a fan of Lex Luger. Well, you see, so, so, when I, so when I see stuff like this, and he's like, you know, he's all you know muscular, and then he he does the torture rack, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm getting vibes from like the mid yeah. '80s again. It's just <laughs> a little revival, a little revival going on there. It's pretty cool. I love it. A little, bit, a little bit of old school and new school. So. Oh, we got Shit. David Penzer in the chat. Good evening, sir. So who are you? I <laughs> Thanks, well, David. Thanks. The only person <laughs> worth watching this show for is is out doing the, the WrestleMania weekend circuit. Or he may yep. be on his way home. We're not sure. He's, he's driving he's all grown. over. <laughs> yeah, he's he's driving all over, all over Philly as we're enjoying speaking. that he doesn't have that far yeah. to drive. Yeah, that he can go home and he can go straight to bed. So, uh, but hey, <laughs> thanks, thanks for thanks for stopping in, Enzer. By the way, J Bone and Alicia. <laughs> oh, never mind us peasants. Yeah, <laughs> just holding it, holding it down over here. <laughs> Please, sir. Right. So yeah, li lively <laughs> segment there with uh, Hammerstone. And then we roll right into uh, the Rascals coming down, and uh, basically sounding like he's throwing out a uh, uh, open Welcome. challenge, and we get. The return, if you will, of the FBI. We we got a, we got a <laughs> very quick warning last week. I even missed it. In, well, in one part of the FBI. 
<laughs> just plain lucky cash. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, <laughs> Penzer. Um, You're good, Egg Penzer. We love you. Uh, but I want to get everyone's opinion here, including Alicia's, on the uh, the shall we say new? I don't know if it's improved. <laughs> we'll we'll, uh, we'll wait on that one. But it is the new 2024 version of the TNA FBI, still run by Little Guido. Yeah, the only remaining member. Yeah, yeah. And, but we got uh, some, uh, well, I, I like to refer to as Young Bucks, not the Young Bucks, but just in general. Uh, we've got Ray Jazz and Zach Clayton. Both out of the uh, Jersey area, looks like <laughs> East Coast, East Coast gentlemen. Excuse me. Yeah. So, so they are going to face the rascals here. What do you think about the new and improved FBI? I think they, I think they did a good job, you know, for showing up in TNA, going against a well-oiled machine like the rascals. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. I do recall, uh, was it Tom or Matt had mentioned that one of the gentlemen uh, as of the FBI is engaged to JWoww from the Jersey Shore? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I believe her and Snooki have a little wrestling history in their backbones as well. So, <laughs> small world. <laughs> well, now, I know Snooki took part in uh a wrestlemania yes but i do believe jwow made an appearance somewhere i i'm probably creating things here but if anybody can no. collab co <laughs> let me know if i'm just making shit up no, she just seems they, like she there would was, there was someone from <laughs> uh the jersey shore that uh, stepped foot in TNA for a uh, period of time. It was I believe it was. It was JWoww. <laughs> I believe I'm, I'm pretty sure it was JWoww. It was JWoww. I, I just looked it up. I Googled it. See, this is the beautiful thing about living in the modern age is if I don't know, I can just hit Google and I'll figure out something. It was JWoww. We got JWoww in TNA. It was there TNA at the time as well, so it's very much appropriate that her now fiance is making an appearance and did a great job. Uh, Ro <laughs> I don't Ro watch that show, but cool. Ro little Rose, TNA history. Rose here says yes. Yep. Yeah, TNA 2011. There we go. So that's. Man. It's when the show was hot, so that makes sense. All right. Yeah. And I'm looking now, and then that's her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But yeah. Robbie E and Cookie, Jersey Shore Spring. Oh my God. Cookie. I forgot that they had that whole GTL Jim Tan laundry gimmick. Him and uh what's his name? Oh boy. So rude. Um the muscle guy. <laughs> oh, um you know. That one guy with the muscles. The <laughs> oh, yes, the one guy with the muscles. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, also with this oh, show, was it was it Rob Terry? Big Rob. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he was part of the menagerie and a couple other things oh god or maybe he was when they i don't remember there, there's so much history did you, did <laughs> there's so much the situation not the situation um, no oh my god um and my brain is slowly melting here i don't remember yeah it was him the dj dj z and who was the DJ other guy z. Not, it wasn't him it was someone else though Oh, it's that guy that's in uh, NXT right now. He's a manager. Jess Jesse Gatters. Thank you, Critical. Yeah. Oh, and also Rose. Who AEW? Who? What? 
Is he a, what? is he a, why is everybody no, saying AEW? Just... Anyway, anyway, sorry. Tangent Mr. over. Oh, Mr. Heck, heck. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jesse well, Kaiser. I could picture the face. I just I didn't forget him. I just couldn't remember his name. Um, <laughs> Robbie, e, Robbie E is the one who's in NXT right now. Okay, I see. I don't watch, yeah. so you guys don't don't lead me astray here. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, which, to, I will say going nuts. Which, what? <laughs> I, I started a fire. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> back to the match. I will say we also got uh, an unexpected appearance from one Myron Reed. Yeah, a return, if you will. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and a return. And uh, here's to hoping that all of our prayers have been answered, and they're they're we're getting a, a trio out of the Rascals again. Granted, we're yeah. missing one pivotal member, but that's okay. It's yeah, still the team in heart. Yeah, he's uh, he's <laughs> healing up in another universe somewhere. Yep. He um he tore his ACL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's a common injury in the business. Speedy and safe recovery. Right, right. He's getting there. It does. Um. But yeah, great to see Myron Reed back. Uh, sound off in the chat if you're excited to see Myron Reed return, and hope hopefully this is a permanent return. Because uh, I we really excited. thought, really thought that when he showed up earlier that he was going to be sticking around, but that wasn't to be. So, oh yeah. Um, what's next here? But yeah, the Rascals beat the FBI. I don't know if this Ooh. version of the FBI is sticking around. Or it was just like a Philly thing. Uh, it could be. Could be. Because you got to remember, we're at the 2300 arena, so they tend to do a little bit of nostalgia. So we got Rhino, we got little Guido in the, the new version of the FBI. Um, I'm sure there are other references that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I uh, yeah. I'll try and point them out if I think of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Onwards. We we got a couple episodes till the to the pay per view, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna be getting them. I tell you one uh one thing we got plenty of was the generational clash that was mentioned about fifteen times every minute during the show. I think it drove a few people nuts in the chat. Oi. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, is right. They 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 definitely pushed that to the to the to the brink of overflow. Okay, now uh, this was mentioned a little bit ago. Let's talk about this this promo. Uh, first time we've seen Jonathan Gresham in quite a long time. Um, now. He was saying something, and then I missed it, but it looked like he was basically in a some kind of uh, rehabilitation group, but like, you know, area ideas and things. So, uh, you know, getting help for maybe some negativity in his life, something. Anger management. It could be anything. Some anger management. Something. It's vague. Yeah. It's vague. Yeah. You talking about this stuff that's happening with them? Well, no, I'm saying is what it's vague how they're portrayed, oh, whatever it's vague. this I is. You said it's, I thought you said it's big, as in like some, there's like something oh. big. Oh, no, clearly, there. clearly I'm, there is because this, with we haven't seen Jonathan in a while. So to be reintroduced to him being in this kind of setting, I believe they're starting to get him fired up for something big to come back to. Um, I really like this. Uh, I'm a fan of the cinematic style filming of things. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, Justin. Um, and so I, I really appreciated this, and he's a good actor as far as this way. I think he did a really good job with this. Um, I'm curious to see where this goes. I liked it. 
Yeah, like the last time we saw anybody in any kind of like therapy setting, it was Eddie Kingston in the church talking to Raven, which pretty much made me fall out of my chair back then. <laughs> so <It was> awesome. <laughs> what about me? Swear what about Raven? Oh, sorry. No wrong, wrong eyeliner guy, okay? Yeah. This, yeah. Wrong guy. <laughs> I know that's Kaz, but it's just putting it into, into the universe. We'll get right. there when we get to Mr. Kazarian's match. Yes. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, you're, yes, yes. Uh, Speedball <laughs> Mountain backstage with, uh, with uh, Gia Miller. And uh, they get interrupted by the system. Um, Eddie uh, Eddie Edwards and uh, Brian Myers and Alish. Brian Myers. I, 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 get, I, I get stuck on Brian Myers' name once in a while. Like I I, I want to say uh, <laughs> his 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 counterpart, his his typical classic tag team partner. They I, I flip the names around, but anyways, oh, Brian Myers, yes. And Moose and Lish were there, yes, to round up the group. Uh, and then it, it started getting a little uh, spicy between uh, uh, Trent Seven and Moose. Uh, Trent wanting to put him in his place, and, and Moose is like, well, uh, you know, you, you really <laughs> you, you got more than your, uh, uh, you, you can handle here with just worrying about the tag team stuff. Um, he's like, but you, if you really want to – face off next week that's fine so it sounds like that's what we're getting next week is Trent Seven versus Moose uh, I don't think it's going to be a title match but it's going to be a match and it's we're nice. getting speed, Speedball Mountain versus a system at um, at the pay-per-view Rebellion alright now <laughs> wait Hold on, how are you going to completely overlook that this segment set into motion Lish's uh, mission for gold now? Oh, she did say that, didn't she? Well, then because we got that... a later segment with her <clears throat> asking right. Masha if she Masha. wanted to team up. Tag teaming, right. I'm sorry, I missed that. My apologies. Well, I corrected you, so you're welcome. All right. You beat me. I want more point. coffee. <laughs> well, he's, he I don't know what he's saying in here. I don't know what the what the implication is. Is Leisha I'm blaming you for Alicia being a biatch. Like a botch or a biatch? A biatch. Why? <laughs> Sometimes being a botch is all a woman has to hang on to. <laughs> if you know what that line's from, uh, you're going to movie trivia. Oh, you got me there. Got me. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah. So, yeah, maybe you want to go after some gold. We'll see how that goes. Uh, next, we've got Kaz, who is the self-proclaimed king of TNA, which I, I love that he says that, uh, versus Chris Bay, one half of ABC, and uh, Ace Austin is at ringside. This this was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this. Um, of course, it's... There continues to be some kind of – there's something going on between Chris Bay and Ace. Like, there's some miscommunication. Somebody's assuming something. And I always preach you never assume anything, especially in the world of you professional make, wrestling. Because then you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I, I think – this is turning into 
uh, Hotheads becoming a friendly rivalry because obviously they're going in a direction where Ace and Bay are trying to go a more singles route despite being a team. And so obviously they're at that crossroads is like, do we want to, you know, I think they'll stay a team and start per having a friendly rivalry of trying to get a single gold. Or I don't know. It, it's very interesting what they're implicating with this. I don't know. I, uh, ever since like the theme music change, I felt like I was like, well, that's interesting right there. Like they still call themselves you know, ABC. But they dropped the Bullet Club aspect of it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Because if you're going to change the Bullet Club music, that's, that's I don't know, that says something. Well, They still I wear mean, Bullet Club type stuff, so I don't know. I kind of. I even, I've been noticing their gear change is back to more of a more original look than the bc stuff um you think about it too we haven't had any bullet club guys pop in in a hot minute and they yeah. haven't been out to japan in a while so yeah. it's just one of those things that it's kind of hard to continue is just the two of them yeah and you know that's yeah, it's, fine it's great to have that presence in tna but um yeah what are you gonna do uh you know, they're strong true. enough without it. This is true. You know, that's where they they really they they broke into uh being a being a tag team was in Japan mm -hmm. and came back uh you know looking like a well oiled machine. <clears throat> um so yeah, uh it's it, it could be time for them to uh go their separate ways. I've I've always it's a good show. Fan of Ace Austin, and I'd love to see him get a singles run. Um, now there's another segment coming up here. And we'll we'll dive into this a little more. We'll see what's we'll see what's coming. But uh, but yeah, so Kaz beats Chris Bay, and and I, I said when I was watching this live, I was like, oh, because Ace wasn't there for Chris Bay. Well, because. Uh serotonin -ish shenanigans. shenanigans it's because of serotonin uh, <laughs> it's all because of serotonin um, it's all because of that yeah. serotonin yeah good the old the old king of tna psychology there of, of uh kazarian so um uh, so yeah that's that's gonna all play into the part of the story uh but yeah, Kaz gets another win. All right, we got a backstage segment here next. Uh, Masha uh, clearly talking about. Actually, I have no clue what she was talking about. Uh, <laughs> she was speaking her the, the the language of the motherland, if you will. And uh, Lish came up to her, uh, interrupting her. Like, See, basically uh, the same thing is I have no idea what the hell you're fucking saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I have no clue what you're saying, but I got something to run by you. <laughs> so, uh, so it's like, yeah. So you know, you're you're uh, you're minus a tag team partner for a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe you and I could uh, get together and win some gold. Think about it. We'll get back to you. It's a paraphrasing there. Paraphrasing. Um, but yeah, do you think, uh, you think Lish is barking up the wrong tree or do you think, uh, Masha's gonna bite? Uh, hmm. That's a tough call to be honest. She's either offended or intrigued. <laughs> or confused. Because even though it didn't feel like Keller Kelly and Masha Slamovich spoke the same language, there was a language of violence, and they both understood <laughs> that perfectly. Yeah. Facts. They had to. Corny, but factual, yes. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. Uh, let's see. We got a promo from Khan. 
talking about Monsters Ball coming up for uh, he and PCO. Somebody's got to make that happen. Uh, and that'll probably be the nail in the coffin for that feud. But uh, I'm excited for it. I know some other people aren't jumping up and down about this one. But, hey, it's two monsters killing each other. Felt like I had to keep going. Yeah. It's the song that never ends. Yes. Not going to sing it. No, I was going to say, please don't sing it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you know, you know. Uh, Zion Brookside versus versus Ash by Elegance. Poor Jade. Poor Jade just gets no respect when the concierge to Ash comes out. He's so rude. I don't think anybody does. He's just a rude concierge. Iceman, what's up, buddy? He's... <laughs> Is she put, giving you too much work? Is it very stressful? Because you're not very nice anymore. I, I think it's... Uh, I miss when I used to get the hot tea from Mr. Iceman. Right? That was that was a weekly basis. But now that's that not around anymore. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. Anyway, um, I will say this is, one, this is like one of Ash's longest matches we've seen to date, right? Oh, absolutely. And Everything else I, was like a squish. I, I really like that she plays into the more comedic means of this character, where she's like really over the top and like I, Ash does a really good job with that. So uh, it was fun. And we got to see, you know, a little more standing from Zaya. So that is good. You're not going to get poetry here. So <laughs> I just like the match. It was good. It served its no, purpose. I, I absolutely hear you. I, I I felt the same way. It was this. Well, like they s proclaimed here, this, and it was hilariously said. This was the first time for a fourth match from Ash by Ellen. Yeah, yeah. Ma making history here in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ray Walt just uh, it brings a, a new level of uh, humor each week. It's it's nutty. It's nitty. I love it. Uh, but yeah, this was this was definitely the longest match we've seen by I'd say either of them. Um, but they both did great. I I I also uh, Alicia. I also appreciate the uh, the the comedic excellence from Ash, where she's she's so. She's so over the top serious and and very, you know, hair flip. You know, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's drum, the, very dramatic, and uh, but it comes off, you know, corny at times. Uh, but then uh, the concierge, damn it, Ice Man, what, what, what's yeah, like, like you said, what's happening, Ice Man? Um, <laughs> Threw the champagne in the face of Zaya Brookside, causing her to be blinded, and that was that was it for her. Ash rolled her up one, two, three, and then of course you know interrupting Jade again, calling the winner. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a fun match. If, if anything was going to happen as far as a first match with someone on the roster. It's perfect that it was someone like uh, Zaya Brookside, someone young, you know. You mm -hmm. can't do that to a seasoned veteran and because then, then it'd be like, wait a minute, you know. <laughs> we got we to gotta work up to that a little bit. But we also mm -hmm. saw some uh, great athleticism on uh, on part of Ash, which I I've been waiting to see. It's like some of the uh, – Oh, just the classic stuff she would do in some of her other matches for WWE, like just the, the random cartwheel and then a big move or something. So we got that tonight. That was nice. Uh, then we got uh, ABC backstage. And, uh, yeah, they're they're not exactly on uh, the same page here. So, so Austin's like, all right, now that we got that out of the way, now we can focus on uh, – getting back to the tag team stuff and Bay's like, are, are you saying I'm not focused on our, 
on our tag team goals here. And because like it's like every time Austin says something, Bay misconstrues it as something else, like it's an insult to Chris Bay. He's like he does like, There's yeah, there's there's some definite some some miscommunication, some misunderstanding going on here. And of course they get interrupted by the gentleman of the first class, the former top dollar, if you will, <laughs> AJ Francis and Rich Swan. I, you know, I feel like Rich Swan needs a new name if he's going to be part of first class. No, he's Rich Swan. He's Rich Swan, bitch. <laughs> he's Rich Swan, bitch. Uh, no, like a kind of like a, I don't know, you know like Top Dollar had the Top Dollar name. You know what I mean? I feel like Rich Swan needs something. Oh, like so that. Top Dollar's got a Top Dollar name, and so Rich Swan should have a money name too. What are they going to call right. him? Money, money? Like it, Rich Swan is enough. Like, like, that, Rich, he, like, like he listen. Like, he's the star of the duo, so I need. I like need Richie you to recognize or something. I don't know. No, that's dumb. It's, no, Rich no. Swan. No, this doesn't work. Okay. We'll keep it Rich Swan until further notice. Uh, <laughs> but uh, AJ Francis kind of you know, whispering in the ear of uh, one Chris Bay, like, hey, have you ever uh, flown? first class and and he's like hey let me tell you i have flown first class with my partner my tag team partner ace austin all over the world winning titles uh and that's true so but so you know i i think that's cool that chris bay did stick up for himself and his tag team mm -hmm. but just the fact that AJ Francis like put it out there. It's like, and that's all it took for Rich Swan. You know, you just like mm -hmm. put it out there into the universe, and now that's going to be sticking in the back of Chris Bay's head. What do you think? I don't know. Do you think Chris Bay is going to? Want to fly first class? I mean, Rich Bay already flies first class. You know what I mean? I mean like, I so mean, Chris, Chris, it's like when, e, yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude's wrestled in Japan. He's a multi time champion. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's got a lot more under his belt than Top Dollar. And the same for Rich. Yeah. Oh, Gary Rossetti here says million dollar swan. Oh, what do you have about that? You guys are really no, right? <laughs> just no. Cause then it so so what Chris Bay is going to join and he's gonna get a money name too? Like, come on, you guys. <laughs> Think about it. Think about how corny that is. I had to, I'm sorry. I I get that it's wrestling for sure, but come on. I know. Shame on all of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go apologize to your mothers, your fathers. It doesn't uh, matter. Uh, Just apologize. <laughs> I was in the chat of this podcast. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm mean. Because I'm no, such I a just... bitch. Oh, just killing everybody. Uh, I, a real see you next Tuesday, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Gia Miller backstage. This is short but sweet, but she's backstage with uh, Matt Cardona and the returning Steph DeLander. They're back, baby. They are back. Yeah, and and like. Steph is going to get that belt off of Jordan, yeah. or so she says. They are back like in sync. 
Doesn't Jordan got beef with Matt Cardona anyway? Because didn't he get involved in one of her matches or a couple of them when she fought like Chelsea or somebody? Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, maybe. Maybe. You're going to make me. Oh, well, I, it could be true. <laughs> I did see something very interesting on uh, on on the Twitter, uh, but I can't repeat it here. I was wondering if you saw uh, uh, Jordan Grace's reply was to uh, Steph Delander on Twitter earlier today. No, because even though I have an account, I do not go on Twitter. Okay. All right. Well, I, I will not for this for the sake of the audience. I will. I will. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Critical, you again, you're always coming through. Critical Cardona took the DMC from Jordan. He did. Yeah. She was the first, wasn't she? Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. And he, he jimmied that from her, and, uh, you know, she better have eyes on the back of her head because he he's not afraid to get involved. Mayor saying, Jay, Coach Bone. Dude, I've never been coached for nothing. I thought they said Cooch. <laughs> I don't have a... Never mind. All right. Main event time. <sighs> the generational clash there. I promise that's the last time it's going to be said tonight. Maybe. Oh or my maybe it won't be. Favorites. <laughs> Alex Shelley versus Nick Nemeth. Um, I feel like a lot of people were like thinking way too hard about this whole generational clash thing. They're like, well, they're, they're about the same age, so I don't it's not <laughs> like different generations. I, you know what, when I was watching this, I didn't even think about what they kept uh, introducing the match as. It, it didn't matter. It, it was just one of those matches, a passing, not a real passing of the torch, but like a, one door closes, another one opens train of thought. Because obviously um, with this, I, it's possibility Shelly's going to be out the door, right? Yeah. It, it did feel like that. Like if you are going to beat anybody, you know, beat the uh, next number one contender. Uh, and he didn't. So, um, let's refrain from that kind of speak of the women wrestlers, please, guys. What's that? Let's let's not <laughs> let's not be disrespectful of female wrestlers. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Like, okay, yeah. you've never seen boobs before. Okay, we get it. <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. That's what Twitter's for. Uh, no, but that's what uh that's what Jordan Grace was referring to though. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm yell I'm like out here yelling at people like, okay, let's not be let's not be dicks about it. Sorry, I take that back. I guess that's what happened on Twitter. A private message. A private message would have sufficed, but I guess you know there's no way we could have known that was going to happen. No, hey guys, it, it it's fine. He's fine. Terrence, you're fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I misinterpreted the situation because I don't go on Twitter again. How I just, was I, I to know? Getting all upset at anyone else. Well, I did, um. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm eating crow. I appear. I apologize. I, I, I will not shovel it your way, I promise. Because you know uh, how I feel about that, guys. It's not cool. The, the generational clash. But Alex if it's a storyline. Go ahead. Versus Nick Nevin. What what did you think about the main event? Um. I feel like this was straight into the point. Obviously, Nick Nemeth getting the win um, kind of signifies a little bit what we were talking about uh, before the slight interruption. Um, 
Uh, yeah, no, I just felt like this was a really technical match and Shelly did a great job per usual. And unfortunately, if this is it, sad to see him go, but thankful for the time spent. I did go out for a cigarette during this match, so you're not going to get much in depth from me. <laughs> Because I just kind of, I had a feeling that, like, Nick was going to get the win, and that's great and everything. I, I, like I said before, is a, a passing of the torch, so to speak, while, uh, you know. All right. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> as far as, like, yeah, I guess what you're saying there by passing of the torch, it's, Typically, a passing of the torch is from someone older to someone significantly younger. Like, hey, now it's your turn. But in this case, Nick's been around almost as long. Well, yeah, but as I far mean. As, but as far as significance in the company, if you're talking about it that way, then absolutely. Right. That's what yeah. it felt like, yeah. Well, because it's two different breeds. You got Nick Nemeth, who who was WWE for many years of his career. Like people really don't think about how long Nick Nemeth was actually over there as Dolph Ziggler. You know what I mean? And Alex Shelley being the TNI guy or TNI, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but wishful thinking, uh, the TNA <laughs> guy. You know what I mean? It, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it, that was it. Well, that was one of the points that they made throughout the show, and it's one thing I did not put in between all these matches, where all these little segments, people putting over Alex and or Nick Nemeth. Yeah. Um, so, pardon me for not bringing those up, but they were short and sweet. So, um, <laughs> Doctor Curse, the wrong man won. Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Each their own. Um, but yeah, it, I know he's not everyone's cup of tea, but uh it, the match itself was great. I, I I loved I loved this match. All I gotta say is, man, if you if you had uh if you have to be reminded of how good a an actual wrestler Nick Nemeth, the former Dolph Ziggler was. This was a great match to watch mm -hmm. because, well, I tell you, man, there was a couple times during this match, Alex Shelley was, he, he looked, he legit looked frustrated because Nick Nemeth was rolling him. He was twisting him up like a damn pretzel. Yeah. And Alex Shelley had to get away from him a couple times just to breathe like, damn, what's going on? What's happening here? Because Alex Shelley's great too, but Alex Shelley really did not play that kind of game tonight. He was a lot more, for lack of better words, let's just say heelish. He was you know, a lot more striking as opposed to technical. Yeah. So, yeah, most of tonight was all technical from 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 Nemeth. So. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say that. Yeah. Very technical match, and I kind of wish they'd have committed to turning Shelly full heel. They they At tinked around, point? they tinked around with it for a little bit. We almost, especially when he was wearing those suits, but it never panned out, and that's okay. Oh, like when he was uh, champ. <laughs> that's a mirror, yeah. <laughs> well, no, because he was doing like morally gray actions and matches where it's like where he's supposed to be a face, but he's doing very heelish tactics and stuff like that. Like, and his mm. attitude as champ was kind of like, well, are you a heel now? You know what I mean? That's what I got from it. Yeah, I felt like he was riding that. that yeah, thin riding line. the thin line that he could go either way. And I kind of wish that they had gone more heel route with him, but it's fine. Like, yeah. Maybe, maybe if they they ever step in in the TNA ring again, I'm um, I'm sure down the line somewhere we'll see. Surely, sure. Who's who? Surely, no, never mind. But yeah, great main event here. My name's not Shirley. Um, 
Philly, <laughs> Philly got quite the Philly got quite the treat here. Um, and it did seem like they were majority of them were behind Nick Nemeth, which surprised me a little, uh, to be honest. But um, but overall, uh, great show. A lot of lot of different, you know, things going on. Tag matches. He had uh, X division stuff. Um, great main event. Just nice variety <laughs> of stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, anything else to add, Alicia? Uh, no, just good overall show. Uh, fun to watch. Interesting setups. Uh, looking forward to next week. Absolutely. Yeah, that's uh, just a couple weeks winding down till the next big pay-per-view, Rebellion, which is April 20th, I want to say. Something like that. <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much happening this weekend. It's I, I'm glad it is. 420. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, and the poster's green too. Hmm. Well, rascals I, are reunion, so I I wonder. <laughs> it's all coming together. It is. It is. <clears throat> Vegas is going to be mean and green. All right. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, T&I tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you check out all the links in the description, including uh, the Spreadshirt uh, shop link down there. We've got, uh, let's see, about three more days of the sale going on, 20% off the Spreadshirt shop. Uh, not PWTs, the Spreadshirt Shop. Uh, there's some new uh, artwork in there. Go check it out. So new tees, new uh, you name it. You can they put a <laughs> you put a logo on it. Cups, mugs, all sorts of stuff. Bags. Go check it out. If you want shit, we got shit. Check it out. <laughs> I couldn't have put it any better. Thank you. I'm a poet. <laughs> And she knows it. All right. Much love, everyone. On your way out, you folks know what to do. Smash that like button. Smash that sub button. Ring that bell for notifications. Why? So that you know when more of our content hits your screen. Say goodnight, Alicia. Goodnight, Alicia.